side, John Hill gets the win, 890 with a two. On a 90 dial, 163 miles an hour, 1015 on the left side for Lawrence and the loss at 131 miles an hour. So we got two Team Air Machine cars, two PEI cars in the final four of Super Pro. That means that'll be uh, three top questions for Greenfield to win the Super Pro. Is that what you think, Jim? Yeah. In general, overall, it might be tough for Team Greenfield to win. I need Glenn Frizzle and Brian Hay. I want the junior cars right in behind them. I need Benjamin Gallant and Kirsten Cantwell, 468 and 1510. Gallant, you have lane choice, 106 and 1625. Riley Green and Hannah Rainey, Riley, you have lane choice. Street and Sportsman, 2406, Robert Burke and 1890, Don Phillips. I need you right away, please. Clerk, you have lane choice, 2268. And 178, Devin Longmire and John Mazzaro. Uh Longmire, you have lane choice for round number three of Street and Sports. Let's get them up in the lanes, guys. Sportsman, the junior, and the bike and sled. This will set the finals for those three categories. Of course, in pro, we have three entries left. Lisa Carroll, you have a bye. Uh, Jeremy Keynes with lane choice over Jack Kirstead in the other side of the pro ladder. The super pro ladder looks like this. John Hill with lane choice over Mary Roach. Uh, Joey Carroll with lane choice over Jim Green in the final four super pros. So. That will be coming up here in a few minutes, but we need bike and sled, junior and street cars through the lanes. Get them down track here, guys and gals. We've got to continue on with a couple of box and no box cameras ready to get it all done in this book. Box cars, box, play box.
final against Glenn Frizzle. Ten seventy-four.
throttle, but Phillips gets the win. 18.21 for the 5, 73 miles an hour on the right side. Schultz is off to the final in Tinkerbell. 13.55 is easy in the left lane for Robert Burke Jr. 94 miles an hour for the loss. So, Don Phillips and Don Mazarol, I predict that Don will win Street and Sportsman. Okay, good on. Just like betting on uh, Team PEI winning the team race this year. Well, not over yet. Well, I'm going to run over to the trailer and do some quick calculations. I see Tony's over there struggling with the math, so we'll go help him out, and I'll be back in just a minute.
94 in the 18 dial, 116. And Evan Denson stands that thing right up. That big long race. Hard to, hard to imagine you get the front wheel up that high. And get it back down again. Safe. Stay right there. I see I got my three brokers for round number four of the team race on the lanes there. I need John Hill and Mary Roach. They are there. I believe Joey Carroll. I can see and Jim Green. I think Jim is there too. I don't know if he's going to come to the third. I need you guys all now, please. Before dark and stuff like that as well. What it is is the point leaders from the four tracks. Uh, we have two super pro cars here. So that's just clean up the kids up front. Pro uh, cars we have two. Like the sled, we get all four. So that means three runs there. Junior, we got three and three. Uh, we have
in, 161.6 miles an hour. He bagged her at the other end, would have been a breakout, 561 on the tree. Joey Carroll goes red, 497 reaction time, 3,000 to the bed. Those 967 with a 7 would have been a breakout as well by 31,000. So our final is set now in Super Pro with Mary Roach and Jim Green, and Mary will have lane choice. Both PEI cards, did I mention that? Yeah, well, you know what that means. It means somebody from PEI will lose. Ah, uh, the eternal optimist. The eternal optimist. Grasping its straws. I am a pessimist. My glass is fully empty. Looks like my bike and sled guys are there. I see my screen enforcement guys are there. And my fingers are just pulling up as well. Not everybody can do it. We've got to 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 do it. Boxcar, Gambler's Race, round four. Boxcar, to the lane. Runner-up gets $100, all the other teams go back into driver's purses or wallets, sending us to male or female. like that, organizing this for the fifth year in a row. Hats off to you, Big Tony, doing a great job again as well. Last year, he did it via uh, internet and phone. He wasn't even there. Seven miles an hour. Get out by a bunch here with a 553 reaction time. Ricky Nas Senior was late and knew it with an 835 reaction time and he goes too fast. 10 12 with a 2 on a 21 dial for the loss. So, congratulations. We've got one team race champion figured out, and that will be Glenn Frizzle for Team DPI and the boys from Greenfield, Ricky Nas Senior, in the runner up spot. Get them up here, fellas. Juniors to the lanes, please. Bring them up.
06 to the Ford, 81.23 miles an hour, and the wind, 596 on the tree, 658 reaction time of Kirsten, goes 793 with a 6 on a 94 dial, under by four one thousands. So congratulations to Riley Green, winner in the Team Race Junior Division here this afternoon.
that and it don't work. Still missing a couple.
Jeff Stewart, the first for the second half of Lakes. The first left side goes 10, 16, 8 with a 9. 124 miles per hour for the victory. Stewart first. No winner.
For the final, in Carolyn Silver Crow, I need Lisa Carroll and Jeremy Keynes. Sorry, I'm behind the mark. I'm doing number crunching here. I need Mary Roach and Jim Green for the final in Silver Crow. Then we've got our king of the pack field to do as well. But I need Lisa Marie Carroll and Jeremy Keynes. Three away, please. the number crunch to see who gets the title of Team Race Champ for 2013. Doing some numbers in here myself very quick and by the math it's going to be a lot closer than I thought. But I will leave that to the Lord and Master of the Team Race calculation is Tony McNeil to figure it all out and we'll get to you as soon as we can after the two finals to down the track. I see Jeremy King making his way. I need Lisa Marie Carroll with the Civic. Jimmy Green and Mary Rose, please. finishers in the four tracks, uh, with the exception of Super Pro, I think, right at the moment. <laughs> so it's Bike Sled Junior and Sportsman that are here and should be ready to go. Bike Sled Junior and Sportsman for King of the Track Deal, please and thank you. Thank you. 
six on the tree. 583 for Miss Lisa goes 11.30 with a 7. 115 miles an hour. 8100 for Margin of Victory. Teams on the right hand side. Spread red. Team Greenfield, Jeremy King, number one. Lisa Carroll, PEI, number two. In pro. Somebody's uh, losing lottery ticket and uh, some money in a money clip. It's uh, a pretty distinctive looking uh, money clip. You dropped it, where was it found? By the ADR8 trailer. And uh, if that's yours, if you dropped it and you wonder where it is, I got it over here. If your numbers, yeah, I'm pretty sure your numbers didn't win. for a generator, boys and girls.
Tony McFann, if you're handy, we could use you up here right at the moment, I think, Tony. I know you're busy with other things, but...
field in just a few minutes in junior. to the lane, no box. Round five, gambler's race, no box. King of the track field for street. You got three entries in that, so it means two rounds. Mike Ingram is going to get a bye. Devin Longmeyer and Dave McMillan are here and ready and set to go. I believe Greg Nickerson and J.D. Mugga are here for the pro division as well. the king of the track dealing a silver pro tomorrow. Uh, one of the combatants had to leave, so rather than just uh, flip a coin and stuff like that, the boys decided that they would do that sometime early in tomorrow's uh, fall open race right here at Greenfield. And that's another thing, boys and girls. We're not all done today for sure. Tomorrow, full day of racing, hopefully here at Greenfield. Uh, two more races on the schedule for the Maritimes next weekend. We're in the annual turkey trot. Raceway Park BDI. If you got a second to drop by and visit us, please do. It's going to be a pretty good weekend. You've got some extra money involved in the show up there. Uh, that's the turkey trot. Next weekend and the weekend after that is the Battle of the Corporations in Merritt Machine. That'll put a cap on the season. 2013 drag racing on track. Other than the ADRA annual general meeting and banquet, November the 16th in Sydney, Cape Breton. It's at the Holiday Inn Express, and you can get your tickets at the ADRA trailer over there. You can wait for she's got them. There is a limited number of tickets, and they are selling pretty good. So if you want to be involved in the banquet part of things, uh, please get your tickets now. Uh, the AGM, we want as many, of course, as we can get. Cape Breton at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. The Holiday Inn Express on King George Road. Turkey trot? I say a podium. Well, you ever put the turkey in the oven, you got to clean them, so you might as well clean them, so there we go. Go do that.
Devin Longmire, good for the win. 1339 with a 9 on the 50 dial. 10th under, 89 miles an hour. Right side goes 1604 on the 20 dial. Two tenths under for McMillan. So Longmire will go to the final against Mike Ingram here. And that technically could break the tie to Greenfield Point. Mike is running for the PEI here right at the moment on fire.
54, Michael Golden takes it. There's a 54 with an 8 on the 53 dial. And takes the strike and the win to be delayed. Fox. Fine. Taking down President T. John. Final four in the no box. Thank you. 
outside for Ricky Nash Jr. in Greenfield. King of the track champion, 992 with A4, 132.19 miles an hour. Matthew Thomas Echo is 988 with a 2, 139.18 miles an hour. So congratulations to Ricky, track champion from Greenfield. King of the track award, sorry. Compliments to the ADRA. Enjoy, my friend. See one of my junior cars there, don't know where Bradley Green is, there he is. We'll get him up here, Mike Ingram and Devin Longmire, as soon as you can, fellas, get her done and in the books. Side of 796 dial. The Kevin Lively Jr. Transport Jr. Dragster. The Greenfield. Lively Green 803. The Atlanta Leasing Green Racing. Right side, the Little Bergato Auto Cluster. Team PEI.
Riley was behind in the tree for sure with his 6.60 reaction time. Goes 8.08 on an 03 dial for the runner-up spot. So congratulations to Logan, King of the Track Award for Team Greenfield. Last race for me anyway. And that will be Mike Ingram and Devin Longmire for the King of the Track Championship. Still some more racing to go here, I do believe. A couple rounds of uh, box or no box, maybe? One round. Yes, and one more. That'll be no box. Don't, don't forget, boys and girls. Sorry about that, Sheldon. Don't forget, tomorrow, full day here. Fall Open's happening. Got lots and lots of money available. Uh, for heaven's sake, it's getting late in the season. It's a long winter. Don't put them to bed just yet. Full day racing here tomorrow at the Municipal Strip in Greenfield. So, hope to see you all here tomorrow. David Massey's two of first of the two seven of the tower. Now come up, two seven of the tower, put the staging lane. Let's go to the no-box final. Again, trophies or awards presentations, check passing out is happening at the ADRA trailer over there. If you haven't picked up your check, that's where you got to go. We got to take pictures, kiss hands, and shake all that fun stuff. You know how it goes. Congratulations to Mike Ingram, king of the track for street and sportsman. Um, Logan Power in the junior division and Ricky Nas Jr. in the bike and sled and will settle the one for uh, Super Pro tomorrow. And sorry, Greg Nickerson in the pro side of things. So thank you very much, folks. Got a couple more races to do. I'm heading for the big city. Woo! Which one? Bridgewater? Bridgewater. Bridgewater. Yeah. Well, I demand a recap. But that's okay. Well, there's a big guy over there with a hat on the headache, and he's got the real camera. You want to talk to him. Again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I appreciate uh, all the folks down here at Greenfield. Let me come into the barn here on occasion and do my thing for ADRA and you guys and gals. Uh, certainly didn't want to offend anybody through the year. Other than every once in a while, I seem to offend Doug and Mitch, but that's only fair for the course of the But uh, thank you very much. Uh, don't forget tomorrow, big day here. Um, next weekend, the 
heard you crowds are in PEI, and weekend after that, Battle of the Corporation's last race. Tickets are still available and will be available tomorrow at the trailer over there. I'll be over there with the weights. And uh, for the ADRA bank to get your tickets, limited number of them available. We're gonna Reaction time, 1119 pass, 107 miles per hour as we put a bow on it and call it a night. 